my corn has gotten to be about eight feet tall now and we got all the silks coming on and I want to show you how I make sure that sure that these are pollinated so the pollen falls from the tassels when the wind blows it and then all the pollen falls down and it will get into the silks each silk is hooked to one kernel of corn so it's important the whole every one of these silks gets pollinated now there's only two rows here because there's only two rows sometimes these corn won't get pollinated well enough so i do come and hand pollinate a little bit so i'm going to show you how i hand pollinate so if you'll see these leaves they kind of go right down into the silks and this one's full of pollen already so is this one so i'll just take these up and i'll shake them onto the silks just to make sure that it gets plenty of pollen you can tell i already did it with this one the silks are starting to turn black but you can see all the pollen on here so we're going to lift it up shake it you can't see but the pollen's going everywhere you can also take a plate and you can shake the top and shake the pollen off onto the plate and get a paintbrush and paint it onto these. But this helps me so I can do this without any equipment. So I'll just take this and shake it right here. And it kind of leaves around there. And make sure those are pollinated. And my next two rows are about as tall as me, starting to get their tassels and I also the corn's starting to grow. But we're going to get corn here in a few weeks. Look at that. Beautiful. Here's some nice pollen on here. Anyway, and then we got the next two rows, which are right here. And then I'll show you the other two rows. Sorry, not two rows. I planted these on July 1st. And I just filled in these ditches. So we just got these. These will be coming up at the very, very end of the season. But I will still get corn. Anyway, everything's looking gorgeous, you guys. Garden's doing wonderful. Happy gardening.